So even though we started by making a new page to see how it's done for this project, I'm going to ask you to download the files from Moodle because what you have here is basically what we did up until now, a document with a blank page with just the structure on it, those columns and those rows. But you also have the images you're going to need and you have the fonts you're going to need that are already in a format that InDesign can use so you don't have to do any extra work. So go to the Moodle page, go to this folder here and save it or open it or whatever. It's, it's actually a zip file, it's an archive, it's a single file. I'm going to save it. And this is very, very important what comes up next here. So you see, it's a single file. If you don't have anything installed on Moodle or, or sorry, on Windows or on Mac, if you double click this, it will just open as a regular folder, but it's not a regular folder. It is a file. It is an archive. And if I click this, it's going to open in WinRAR for me. So an archiving application. And it shows me the folder that's inside with several folders and files. But the thing is, even though I can see them, open them, browse and look at them, InDesign cannot. And for InDesign to be able to access the fonts, for example, it's very important that this folder be extracted from the archive to your computer. So I've saved this file on the desktop, but this is not what I need. I need to extract this folder to my desktop, what's inside the archive. Um, it's just as easy, regardless of whether you have something installed or not. Uh, Mac automatically will uh, extract this when you double click the archive for windows when you double click it it will open as a folder but it's not yet extracted so you have to do exactly this drag it and drop it wherever you want to be i'm going to work on the desktop for this project even if it's not the best idea usually uh, and now i can delete the archive and i just need this folder and let's quickly have a look of what's inside here Basically, you have a folder where you have the fonts you're going to need. You don't need to install them because InDesign knows when it sees a folder called document fonts next to an InDesign file, those are the fonts it needs to use and it can find them there as long as they're not in the archive. And in the links folder, you'll have the files, uh, you'll need the images a file with the pieces of text so you can just copy and paste them uh, and a PDF file of the final format we're going for so you, ha you can have it as a reference. Um, another important thing here to notice is that we actually have two InDesign files. Uh, one of them INDD is an InDesign document, this is the default file format for InDesign. The other one is an InDesign markup document. Now the weird thing about InDesign is that it can only open documents made in that version that you're working with or older. So this particular file is made in InDesign 2020 if you have an older version of InDesign, it won't be able to open this file because it's newer. Uh, if you encounter or if you're in that kind of situation, then for that you have this IDML file. Uh, if you try, I don't know, if you have InDesign 2019, for example, and try to open the INDD file, you'll get some errors and the file just won't open. So then, if, if you're in that situation, you don't have to struggle with it and try to see what's wrong. There's nothing wrong. That's how InDesign works. But then you can open the IDML file. This is made to be open in any version of InDesign since CS4, which is like 15 years ago or something. Um, it, 
if you're working with very new features, some of those might not work, but the file will still open. On the other hand, the chances that you are using very, very new features are very slim since uh, the new features in InDesign are very niche. We probably won't ever encounter them. So if you have any version of InDesign that's, let's say, 10, uh, less than 10 years old or maybe even more, you won't really encounter any features that we're going to need uh, that you're lacking. So you can use whichever you want. Just make sure you've extracted the content of the archive and that you are opening the proper file. So if you have in design 2020 or newer, open the INDD file. If not, open the IDML file. The result will basically be the same. Uh, I will get this document here with the columns and the rows that I had just created. And we can start from this with the fonts and everything already available here. 